Hello and welcome back to the series of Disaster Recovery. I'm Rahim Sheikh and today I'm going to talk about how to access the DR environment at the time of DR or at the time of DR test. So let's get started. So very important point, people plan about the DR and uh, they, they do the recovery as of their server as well. But they, there is always a problem for users and their admins to access the recovery environment. And today I'm going to explain how you can plan that and uh, what, what are the pain points and how you can fix that. Let's get started. So this is your prod site and this time I'm just mentioning your prod as a box because I don't have nothing to do with, with your prod because let's assume there was a DR test or DR invoked for XYZ organization and everything is recovered. So let's assume uh, <coughs> this customer has an on-premise server with a physical, virtual, everything. Like, so I have VMs, I have physical servers and I have cloud as well. So I have cloud, physical VMs, and uh, everything is recovered at my DR site, right? Uh, <coughs> so VM environments has been recovered. Uh, I have some, uh, my, my network is also recovered for, for VM. Uh, so we have recovered, did the recovery for cloud as well. Okay, whether it's a uh, uh, AWS or Amazon. Um, <coughs> And uh, there are some physical servers. Okay, so everything is connected to this uh, network. Okay, whether it's a VM, physical servers, cloud, uh, let's say I have some uh, storage, I have some uh, Unix boxes, which is a Solaris or, or mainframe, whatever it is, which is which is recovered at a DR site. But my admins or a DR team, uh, whether it's a vendor or, or a, any team, production team who basically uh, capable to do the DR, they are able to access this environment, but there are very few. And uh, you have re recovered your web servers, uh, but it's, it's only accessible within the cloud or within this DR environment. You have a team of, of developers uh, the, you have a team of, uh, of users and uh, you also have a clear customers who wish to access your, your recovered servers just uh, as your production site is down. There are some, some users, they are work, doing work from home or uh, remote users, they, they, are, they don't have any office but they do work from home, how they can access this. So, so if they are not able to access, this all DR is, is unused. Though it is recovered, everything is fine, but your <coughs> users, your customers, your uh, remote users, they are not able to access this environment. So this setup, it's, as long as unused, it, it is equal to a dead because there's no use of this, uh, any, any, any of these servers or application or, or devices. So, Today I'm going to talk about how, how we can how we can uh, fix this. So for example, let's start with, so we have a users, they wanted to access these recovered sites. So if, let's take this one by one. So I have a customers who will be accessing this web servers via internet. So I need to make sure my public DNS, which was earlier pointing to my production web server now i need to make sure my public dns is now pointing to my dr public ip and which is natted to my web server so this request will get updated so whenever my customers will try to access the web servers for example customer has a online web store from where cust uh, this uh, I'm sorry. So this um, 
this organization has an online web store and customer wants to use this web servers to make a purchase. So earlier this request was getting sent to the IP address which was at production but if this site is down there will be no response from the production site and uh, our new site is up what we need to make sure we just update our public IP address to to the uh, public DNS to, to the new public IP address so whatever request was coming to abc.com this will get diverted from this IP address let's assume this was 10.1.1.1 it's not a public but I'm just assume it will get re, uh, redirected to 192.168.1.5 because this is my new public IP address and I cannot have the same public IP address uh, two side because for example at New York I'm having a vendor that's AT&T and at DR site I can have a vendor uh, which is something different who basically cannot provide the, the pool of AT&T IP address to and there is no way you can do this routing so better we point those DNS to the new IP address how the users which are basically doing work from home or do the remote access so how they connect to, to, to their production earlier so they might be having a VPN connection whether it's a SSL or uh, any other token VPN but now what you need to make sure that there is another SSL VPN configured for a DR users to connect so this work from home user can access the SSL VPN and uh, log into the recovery environment uh, <coughs> so there are many companies or organization what they do uh, so I have an uh, so this was my site abc.com and to access the VPN at production they used to do access the vpn.abc.com uh, very uh, there are very uh, easy way to do this is set up a one more a record which is a drvpn.abc.com that will be always pointing to your SSL VPN public IP address because you already purchased that and you always have that available so DRVPN whenever this guy try to access this they can use a, a DRVPN so there will be official communication sent to everyone uh, via BCP that you need to access the DR environment and they can follow this process to connect with the DRVPN how so let's assume you have another site uh, which is not down but this users are not able to access those uh, devices so we had a users somewhere so this is a New York site which is down but there is a site in Scottsdale or, uh, or uh, any other location uh, where, where users can go and sit and do their work uh, or you have any, any work area recovery so I will not explain what is work area recovery but this service you can buy with many vendors they provide a seat license so that users can go and sit there and how this is users will be able to access this recovered environment so uh, there are many many uh, organizations they basically have this uh, another site or a DR site where users can go and sit uh, so there is a there, there's always firewall and an internet connection is uh, configured and with that setup there is a site to site VPN configured between <coughs> the war site and the recovered site so this users does not need to log in individually with one by one with this SSL VPN because this SSL VPN is based on licenses and it's costing too much but you can have only one site to site VPN setup and here your hundred or thousand users can access this recovery environment via this one single site to site VPN connection if you have just 100 MB or uh, 1 GB internet connection which is having a site to site VPN between those two sites that can be helpful for your users to access this environment and uh, <coughs> so and they will not have any problem they will be using everything as it is because